In this tutorial, you're going to learn about how to use custom function in FileMaker and also how you can make use of the famous BrianDunning.com. Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome to another FileMaker beginner tutorial. My name is Sunny Chu and today we are going to learn about custom function. Now, first thing I want to mention is that this tutorial is going to be a little bit different from our usual video format. And mostly it's um, not going to be about building something within FileMaker, but how to learn one of the most useful skill you can have as a FileMaker learner which is to work with custom function or more specifically this thing here called um, BrianDunning.com this .com right here now if I mention BrianDunning.com this name to any seasoned FileMaker developer they will know exactly what I'm talking about here and so I want to um, show you the reason of why I am creating this tutorial and what has inspired this. So basically the backstory is super simple. One of the students from my course, um, Tomaker DIY Automator, he emailed me about a questions of um, how can he create a age calculating formula with a birthday in. So I entered the birthday and it calculates the age. So I thought it was going to be super easy. So I go straight into trying it out myself. And so I created a calculation and I thought it's going to be easy. So I think the, in my mind, I thought if I can get today's date and then minus that by the birthday and then make this whole thing an integer, so like a whole number, and that will, um, well, this thing, this here divided by 365 because it's one year then I will get the birthday no problem. And as you can see in here, it seems to be working. So if I change this to, let's say 2016, it's three years old. But if I change this to 2015, four years old, etc., etc., like this. Now, here is the part that this formula calculation is not going to work, is that um, it has failed to take into account one really important thing about the year structure which is every four year in February, there's going to be leap year and we are going to have 29th of February every year. So my formula is going to be wrong um, by a margin of maybe a few days every four years. So this formula is not going to work. And to be honest with you, this is more like a math question, not too much of a developer questions. But when I meet with such question that I don't know how to solve, and I feel like someone must have solved it before, this is when I go to Google and uh, mostly go to BrianDunning.com to find the answer that I need. So usually what I do is I go to Google in here and I search, for example, FileMaker um, age calculation like this. And then I will scroll down and then one of the result it's probably going to be within the BrianDunning.com. So if I click in here and you will see this custom function page. So you will see the formula is this one and he asked you to create a custom function. Now, when I first started FileMaker, one of the thing that um, really confuses me is how to use this information within this website because I, I don't understand what does this whole thing mean? What is custom function? And so I wanna give you a really quick introduction of how to work with custom function and also how to look into this website's information and use it as your own. And so let's get back into our database and I want to explain to you what is um, custom function. So for example, if I go to file, manage custom function, I can go into the custom function dialog box here. Now it's super important to note that if you're using FileMaker 16 or before, you will need to have a FileMaker Pro Advanced to make use of this function. If you're in FileMaker 17 or more, then you can go to um, here FileMaker Pro Advanced, well, let's go back out. FileMaker Pro Advanced, preference and use advanced tool. Make sure that this is checked to um, get access to this custom function feature. So you open this up and custom function in here. 
what you need to do is to create a new custom function. So basically, um, the use of a custom function is that you can create your own calculation function and use that over and over again. So for example, um, let's do testing. I'm going to name my new custom function testing, and I am going to give it a little bit of, um, well, let's have nothing in here yet. I'm just going to write the formula. So I can write in, for example, 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2, and click OK, click OK again, and then in, for example, if I work with a script later on, for example, show custom dialog, and I recall the testing custom function that I created, you will notice in here it's a kind of like a like a box icon here. That means it's a custom function that is made by you. If I use this custom function testing, click OK, click OK again, and if I click play now, it's going to shout out 1 plus 1, which is the answer is a um, Two. So what I'm doing here is that I have set up a function that I can reuse in advance. Now, of course, shouting out a static value of 2 doesn't really achieve anything. So I want to make a little bit more um, interesting example. Not interesting, but at least it explains some important concept. So I want to create a function that is able for me to add two numbers together. So let's call them add them together. Add together, something like this. So this number and that number. So I have an add together function with this number and that number as parameter. So what I can do is that I can like um, apply this number into the formula like this, double click this number plus that number. And so I have now created a function with two parameters. So if I click OK, click OK again, go to custom dialog, and let's do add together. You can see in here, it's um, this new function is here. When I click, it's going to give me two options like uh, just like any other FileMaker function. So what I can do is let's say 5 plus um, 7. So I add these two numbers together because I've set that up in the custom function. And if I click OK, OK, and when I play this, it's going to say 12. That means the function is working. Now, one of the very cool things that you can do with uh, using this along with BrianDunning.com is that in here it gives you a formula of how to set up a how to set up a um, custom function. So let's try this and see how it goes. So first thing I want to do is. Um, I want to show you how to create this custom function. So on the top of this page, you will see H quote birthday. So what I want to do is that I want to create a function that is called H quote and quote. So let's go to my FileMaker um, database and let's do custom function. And I want to create a new custom function that is called H. Now, usually I would recommend you to use the same name as the one in here. So um, there might be a case that where this function is going to call itself, and so keeping the h, uh, I mean keeping the function name the same is very important. So here, h, we don't need to add the quote in here. We just need to name the function name as h. Now, once this is done, next thing I want to do, I want to copy this whole passage into here. So let's copy this and go back to our FileMaker, paste it onto the calculation area here. And when I click OK, it's going to have an error. Now, that's because part of the formula, you can see it already automatically highlight the birth date. Let's do that again. Click. It says that birthday is um, the specific parameter cannot be found. So we haven't set up the parameter yet. So what we want to do is that in here, we have a birth date in here. We want to create that parameter as well, add it to here. So now this is act an actual value that can be found and I can use it within this formula. And when I click OK and click OK again, I am able to, um, for example, let's go back to my database. I can do something like um, H here, which is a custom function that I just created. And I can add in my birthday field in here. When I click OK, click OK, and save this, 
play it, it's going to return me the answer of 6, which is the calculated birthday. Now, it's super important to note that I haven't really um, checked it, this formula yet to make sure that this is 100% correct, because sometimes the, um, the custom function made on this site might not be 100% correct. Sometimes because it's, it's just made by other other um, developer out there and there's a rating to see if this is a good function or not. But um, most of the time you want to double check if this is the correct one to use. Now I want to show you another example of why this custom function thing it's going to be so powerful. So in here, I have uh, updated my file just a little bit and I want to show you what I'm trying to do in here. So for example, I have a number here uh, which is um, which is going to be um, 120,000 dollars, something like this. Now, this is one of the cases that I've been through personally. I was trying to develop a um, system for a bond company and inside their official document, they need the dollar amount to be printed in this text format. So the problem that I'm facing is this is something that is super difficult to create on your own. And there's absolutely no way I'm going to reinvent this. Otherwise, I'm going to charge the customer a fortune to do it. There's no way I can do it really. But So what I'm trying to do in here is that I want to see if um, the brand is uh, able is able to help me. And it did and it saved me a lot of time. So basically here is the function that I want to show you. And this is uh, called, I think, number in words. So this one here, it's, uh, it's saved my life. So basically I want to show you a little bit more complex example of how I am achieving this result. So what I want to do is I want to implement this custom function into my database. So first thing I want to do again, file manage custom function, and I want to create a new function here, and I want to name it number in words. And again, make sure all the naming here is exactly the same, otherwise the function will likely not work, depending on different situation. And I notice there's three parameters here, number in, currency, and decimal cur. So a decimal currency. And I check in here, the sample input is this number and the sample output is this number here. So I want to do that and let's um, start by creating this parameter field one by one. So number in, next I have um, currency and finally I have decimal cur like this. And I want to then copy this whole text into my clipboard and paste it here. Let's click OK. So now I've created this number in words function. And to be honest with you, I still don't know how they did it. I just copy and that's all I did. And so let's try this and see if that works. So um, I want to go to my calculation again, remove this one. This is my previous fail attempt. and. Um, so I want to create the custom function, which is number in words, the one that I just created. So let's have a look at how they set up their parameters. Um, let's see, sample input is um, this one here. And let's see. Well, it only have one thing here. It only have um, number in, currency, and decimal curve. So I think if my memory is correct, let's do for example like a, a one to one like this. I don't know what this number is going to say. And the currency, I'm going to name it, let's do dollar and decimal currency. It sends if my memory is correct. So uh, let's do dollars and cents. So if I play this now, it should speak out this specific um, thing in text. So if I click that now, $121.32.00. So it's kind of working uh, pretty well. So uh, that's the concept behind this whole thing because there's no way that I could develop this on my own. It's There's a lot of a linguistic thing going on and I'm pretty bad in English to really get that whole thing to work. So that's why I think 
this website here, briandunning.com slash CF stands for custom function. It's one of the best tool that you can learn as a filemaker learner because there's a lot of things in there that can save you a ton of time. And so that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this type of content. And if you want more FileMaker tutorials like this, just comment to me in the comment section down below and I will know your feedback and maybe make more of these types of uh, more meta type of tutorial videos. So that's basically it. And I guess I will see you on the next tutorial.